Today's game comes to you from Gongai Games. Now that we have a release date for Covert Missions, pre-orders are now officially open. As always, don't forget code COMMANDO10 at checkout for more extra savings combined with their free shipping on 25 or more for significant total savings. This year, for the first time, introducing the Gongai set, a traditional Saga-style set, at 325 with the COMMANDO10 discount puts it below many competitors' pricing. Be sure to check them out at gongai.com. Hello everyone and welcome back to Dice Commando from the final from today's standard Saturday Standard here at Gongai Games in Portland, Oregon, USA. On the left we have Amy. We saw a take down round two. And on the right we have Story. He's playing the Chopper Shadowcaster deck, uh, trying to get the reset. And he is on Theed. Amy is on Outer Rim Outpost, although you cannot see it up there in the glare. All right, so doing our roll off. Uh, probably Chopper gets it. Oh, not when Maul rolls like that, though. So now Amy gets to choose. Probably takes hers. Yeah, two shields to go onto the chop there. And uh, Amy will get us started. All right, so she's going to roll in Maul to start. Not a strong start. One and a blank. All right, power actions chopper to drop the grappling arm for free, reducing the cost of a mod by one from hand or discard. All right, and then Amy's going to power action here more than likely. Yep, so she'll power action the blank, I think. Nope, gets a blank. Has to probably do, oh, that's a bad, she can't get rid of her DM. Probably has to drop her pulse cannon, I would think. Gets rid of the entangle. Okay, so that is uh, two, so two into chopper and then two into one of the engineers. So do you remember when the engineers come in, which he's likely to do next, he gets to look at the top four cards of his deck and pull a mod that he finds there into his hand. Yep, engineer indeed for a resource, which is what he's looking for. So he'll look for any mod, likely a, uh, oh, TLT is pretty good. Okay, puts them on the bottom. Back to Amy here. So do note that the target in this is likely going to be the commando, right? Because he wants to turn off desperate measures to bring out his shadow caster, of course. Okay, so one more into or one into chopper because of the power action on the mando. And then chopper will roll in. Nope, other engineer rolls in. Just looking for a salvaged arm at this point. All right, pulls a targeting computer. Back to Amy here. All right, rolls in. One melee, disrupt. Chopper rolling in. Money, money, and one. Wow, all the money he wants. But he won't be bringing out his, he won't be bringing it out yet. So he's gotta get either the DM out of the hand He's going to want to get him into the discard pile. He doesn't know it's in her hand, of course, but he wants to make sure he gets DM out and then either Scruffy or somehow put down the yellow character. Okay, so Amy puts the two in, does not want to discard anything in her hand, which is reasonable. This goes to story. Thinking it over here. He has a ton of cards in his, so he has six cards in his hand, right? Because he played one for the grappling arm. He does have motivate, so he can make money. Not that he, yeah, but that's what he's going to do. Okay, so tilt, increase the value by one, spotting two reds. So four, so he's already past the magic number. Amy disrupts. He's more than happy for her to do that. Now he'll take three. Oh, 
fickle. Nice. Okay, plays the fickle. Amy cannot buy it. She'll show pass. Fickles are coming in. Time for her to motive. That's what she's been sitting there on. Yep, motive it. All right, two disrupt. Will he keep going? Okay, puts one into the Mando. So I know it feels bad, but she probably doesn't want to keep the Pulse Cannon because she wants to dig for a redeploy here. All right, discards to reroll. Gets a one. Amy should just claim. He's, he's obviously trying to bait her out, bait the DM out. Yep, one more into the Mando, and then Amy should claim. Take her dollar. I mean, she's scared of taking the hit, which which is fair. Because if she so if she claims and then he shadows, yeah, so he's just going to claim. Because I, I think that was reasonable, right? Because if she claims and he brings a shadow caster out with the targeting astromech and just dumps on her, right? So then she's done with the M because her Mando's dead. So I, th I think she played that right. Oh, she got her dagger. That's big. She'll want to play that for sure. All right. Fickles out first, gets another one. You just keep pouring it on. She should absolutely... Just power action the dagger. I like that. But she okay, so she brings in Maul. Not rolling well. But I guess he doesn't have to with the power action. Alright, there's Chop for more melee. One more melee. It's not Chopper's not rolling very well either, but he only has two damage sides. Alright, so Maul power action. Man, Amy is just rolling like crud here. Alright, yeah, she'll get rid of the hasty because it doesn't do her any good. Reroll. I'm just looking for a two or a three. It's, gets the one, right? It's worth it. Feels bad, but... Now the dagger looks real good. Since that melee's out there. Story has all the money in the world. Okay, it puts one more into the Mando. Time for Amy to power action here. All right, power action's Mando. Oh, well, that's interesting because now she uses her overwrite. Ooh, that's risky. All right, one more into the Mando. But she has a dollar, so. And she has a bounty mask, so. All right, bring him in, see what he can do. All right, there's a one. All right, garbage shoot. Take the two, and then Amy will deal the one for retribution. Oh, Mr. Retribution trigger. Story's not going to give her that. Takes a shield. Engineer comes in. He'll look at the top four. The garbage chute was nice. Very nice. All right, there's a Scruffy. Call event. She's going to get it. Yep, that's probably game right there. Yep. Because now she's gonna, he's going to pull out the Shadowcaster, blow away the Mando, and uh, 
she'll lose the redeploy. So. All right, so she does add the bounty mask, make it a little harder for him. Yep, so he'll pay the three. Out comes a shadow caster. And he's got plenty of mods to stack on it, including a targeting astromech. Alright, there's the TLT, protects it from removal. I'm not sure what Amy's Amy's passing, but he knows what's in her hand. There's the targeting astromech, so that's minus two on the shadow caster cost. Alright, shadow caster in. There's a miss, but one card for reroll. And again, tack, I mean, he has the, he's plenty, I mean, he's definitely rerolling because he has a lot out there on the table. Oh, he's actually not because he has the, he has the uh, R2 astromech in his hand. I just saw it. But he doesn't, it's interesting actually because he doesn't have the money to reset it. All right, so he does two indirect, which will go into Maul. Yep, discards the reroll. Whoa, guys. Yeah, I'll say that was not a focus, so. All right, there's some indirect. Yep, and he got rid of this astromech, so. It's not enough to kill. Has one left. So now the question will be, can Amy draw into her DM? Which still isn't game, actually. But at least she has the dagger to try and save some value. So she'll get rid of the Grievance Striker, I would think, here. Oh, she keeps it. Okay, power action's the Mando. For one, into, who does she go into? Chopper? Oh, interesting. I, I may have thrown it on the other engineer, but it does have him at two. So, all right, so Chopper coming in. Misses. That'll let her bring in the Mando. All right, there's two. Interesting. All right, disrupts two. He wants to set himself up for the yep, dead chopper. Interesting. All right, Fickle's coming out. Three for one. I mean, at this point, he's got to know she doesn't have... He puts the shield on. He's actually not worried about... Because right now, he's got to assume she doesn't have desperate measures, right? So he shouldn't actually be worried about it. Yeah, he's just going to play it out. Yeah, that's that's good heads-up play. All right, so R2 Astromech. That'll throw on next action, get that Shadowcaster reset a going. Okay, Maul coming out. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not great, but. All right, outrun. 
Amy, Retribution. Retro, that's two damage. I mean, over the course of the game. Obviously, that would have only been one. All right, she well connects. There's his money for the fickle. All right, he should be able to win this this round, I would think. Yep, two, and she could have bought Fickle as well to keep him off, but... Right, so she put the DX2 down on Maul. Engineer coming in? Nope. Engineer coming in. Salvaged arm doesn't do him much good, but it's a pitch to reroll. Not like he needs it with the targeting, but he may need it on his second activation. He needs to try to get money. Yep, drop. And then goes back to Amy. She keeps passing here. Okay, drops a yeah, I mean she's just dumping her hand, which is fine. Drops a bounty mask. Okay, R2 Astromech. Puts him at that magic three. Alright, there's the Shadow Caster, protected by the TLT. Amy should just claim. And draws. Gets a Intimidate. That won't do her much good. Yep, there's the six. This card to reroll. It's a three for one. Oh, and the Focus. So I can go to the plus two. Do the eight. Uh, I don't... I think that was right. Didn't she have two damage on her? And a shield? Was that not the six? Either way. Story's got this one. Amy needed an early fear in dead men, which we still haven't seen. She does have an act of cruelty, but that other engineer doesn't have anything on him, so... Let's see what you can do. Rolling Maul. Four dice isn't horrible. But again, with that targeting Astromech, he just needs to roll in and target, right? So. Yep, step one. Yeah, she's got the DM, but can't spot, so it doesn't matter. Yep, drops to re-roll. Yep, targets to the kill, and that will do it. All right, there we go. All right, nicely done. Story takes the tournament today with the Shadowcaster. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Hey, it's Sarah. I'm here at Gongai, and like and subscribe for Dice Commando. Have a good time.